once again welcome to today's class on ratios and proportions we want to see how to solve this problem on proportion recall in the videos before this i said we have direct proportion and inverse proportion then when a question is given to you check out if it is direct proportion inverse proportion okay now if it is direct proportion use this symbol to solve it to get the unknown that means as one is increasing the other one must work increase then if it is inverse proportion use this to solve it that means as one increases the other one must work decrease or vice versa as the other one increases the other one must work increase that is just it let's see what we mean 10 cows graze a farmland for 10 days wow 10 cows uses 10 days to graze it to graze a farmland now how many days will 15 cows use to graze that same piece of land 15 cows 15 cows i will put it to be under the cow 15 cows so if i write 15 cow here it is wrong because it is not under cow. This is under day. I'll put it here. Then I now ask myself, if this is a what, the land, and 10 cows finish it with what, 10 days. Now, when the number of what, cow, increases, how many days? Will they use higher number of days to graze it? Or will they use small number of days? Please, this logic you are following to solve it, or you are using to solve it, is on a condition that everything is constant. I mean, everything is at normal constant. So, if 10 cows finish this in 10 days, and the number of cows increases by what? 15. If the number of cows increases by 15, and um, by 5, that is making it to 15, how many number of days? You will not notice that as more number of cow join in eating those grass, that the number of days that they will use to do it will be lesser. It will not reach 10. So you now say the number of days will be less. So when this is high, when the number of cow is increased, the number of days required will be less because much cow will, or many cow will be at work to graze that farmland. So what we now have is we have this mirror instead of this. Then look at what I mean by that, by this. That means say 10 times 10, 10 times 10. Please don't do cross multiply. To get your answer sharp or fastly, say 10 times 10, 10 times 10 over 15. 5 here, 10, 5 here, 2. 2 times 10, 20. 20 over 3. That is 20 over 3 days. 20 over 3 is equivalent to 6 points what? 6, 7 what? Days. That means they will need smaller number of days than 10. A day is smaller than 10 to finish that same farmland. Thank you for watching the video. If you find it so helpful, please share with your friends and encourage them to join and watch all the interesting videos I have on my channel. Thank you so much for being part of my channel.